Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today it is time for another Pipe Tobacco First Impressions video. And this particular blend was sent to me by Sutliff. It's part of the Seattle Pipe Club Signature Series, and it's a brand new blend that just released on August 22nd, I believe. And it is called Seattle Pipe Club Down Yonder. Those shiny Seattle Pipe Club Signature Series tins are always very difficult to get properly on camera, but there you go. It has a little detail from the painting American Gothic on there. And this is a brand new blend. Um, I don't know much about it, as I usually don't when I do a first impressions video. I try to go in with as little prior knowledge as possible so I can go in fresh and with an open mind. It is a Virginia blend. I do know that, a straight Virginia blend, I think. Let's see, they sent me a little bit of information here. Blah, 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 do, do, do. Pure, rare Brazilian Virginia leaf. And it is stoved, according to this. So stoved Virginia. And I'm going to crack this tin open. We're going to take a look. I don't even know what kind of cut this is or anything like that. So we're going to pop the tin open. Sealed, as you can see. Oh, wow. Okay, it is very stoved looking. Very dark black. And it comes in chunks like this. I think this is like a crumble cake. You can see it in the tin there. That is really dark stowed, Virginia. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very fruity, very, very fruity. Has kind of a fermented aroma to it. But I am getting a little bit of not freshly cut grass, but grass that's been cut and then piled up and then has moldered for a few months. Hmm, interesting, very interesting indeed. I like these chunks. I think they'll probably be pretty easy to rub out from what I can see. So let me do that. I'm gonna rub out a couple of these chunks. I'm gonna load them into my uh, Dunhill 1964 Saddle Bit Root Briar Billiard, beautiful pipe and we'll light this up and see what I think. Let me just show you what it looks like now that I've rubbed it out. It is so dark, but it rubs out really easily, nice and fluffy, and the moisture content is not bad at all. I think it's gonna be just fine to load a pipe without having to dry it out at all. So I'm gonna do that now. Hmm. All right, gang. A very dark stowed Virginia crumble cake blend. I believe blended by Joe Langford. I'm not totally sure. Um, I haven't been able to get definitive proof of that, and I will do some more research before I do the full review. But they mentioned Joe Langford in the description, and I know that he recently passed away, but maybe this was a blend that he worked on before he did pass away. I'm not tasting a whole lot yet, which is interesting. Just considering the, the aroma of the tin, um, the way the blend looked and felt, it seemed like this would be something kind of strong, but I'm not getting a ton of flavor yet. Let me go a little deeper. I'll do a few more puffs and come back and see if that changes. Hmm. This one is perplexing me a little bit, gang. It is a little steamy, and it didn't seem too moist when I loaded the pipe, so I don't think it's because of that. It just has kind of a hot air steam sort of quality to it. I'm getting a little bit of that fermented fruitiness that I was detecting in the tin aroma. Not getting much grass, not getting much hay, still not getting a ton of Virginia flavor and I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. I've only done, I don't know, maybe a third of the bowl so far. I'm gonna go a little bit longer and just see if this eventually changes into something, because right now I'm not getting much of anything. Huh, it's not bad. I'm not disliking the flavor I'm getting, but I'm just 
still not getting very much. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness and there's kind of a nice savory quality to almost a meaty kind of quality to this. There are the stewed fruits, the sort of fermented fruits in there as well. Still not getting much grass, still not getting much hay, still getting that kind of steamy hot air kind of quality to it where you're you're taking this hot air into your mouth and you're trying to strain through it to get some flavor out of it. And I'm not getting very much. Interesting. I didn't expect that from this at all. Just looking at the cut, looking at the, the color of the tobacco in the tin, it just seemed like this was going to be more of a bold blend. But so far, it's not. I don't dislike it, but there's nothing particularly noteworthy about it for me to really even pick out right now. So it's kind of just a meh at the moment. Obviously, I'm going to be trying this for a couple weeks. I will do a full review eventually a couple weeks down the road, and maybe things will change by then. But for now, Seattle Pipe Club Down Yonder, part of their signature series produced by Sutliff. Meh. It's okay, maybe. Not much to write home about so far. We'll see if that changes. Thank you so much for watching this first impressions video of Seattle Pipe Club Down Yonder. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later. Hmm. Mmm. Yes. Oh, hello. Do you like videos about pipes and or pipe tobacco and other fun subjects like that? Well, YouTube doesn't. In fact, they dislike those kinds of videos so much that they don't let us monetize them because they consider them unsuitable for most advertisers. But if you do, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash stuffandthingsshow. Link in the description box below. It would be much appreciated and it would go towards helping us create more content like this.